I call the honourable member Ian McKelvey. Dinakwe, Mr Speaker. Dinakwe. Mr Speaker, this bill ensures we continue to have the most efficient and effective dairy industry in the world. It will ensure our dairy industry is able to meet the significant challenges ahead, both at home and abroad. And frankly, having listened to the last half hour in this House, I could spend the next 20 minutes challenging almost everything that's been said, but I won't. The industry has... A no, I wouldn't do that to you, Mr Gough. I won't waste time. I've got a very short time here. This industry... On account of my age. <laughs> well, I am older. This industry has, a, as a result of this legislation, the confidence and ability the to significantly assist <laughs> the creation of new jobs for New Zealanders, to, assi to assist in the, in the development Order. and, and uh, not only the development, but, the, but to assist in the creation of a new way in relation to our environment and farming in New Zealand. And it needs to have the strength and the confidence that this structure will give it to achieve that. Mr Speaker, many dairy farmers were uneasy about the ability of this parliament to interfere in their business. They were a little nervous at what parliament might do to their industry. I'm pleased to say, Mr Speaker, that we've not damaged their industry but strengthened it by the actions of this House. The Trading Amongst Farmers scheme will be, and, the, and its market price, in my view, will be set by the response to the market. It will, it, it will eventually manage the milk price as well. And so what I mean by that is that, that as, we get, as this system eases into place, the share price will eventually measure and monitor or, or set, effectively, the milk price. So I think the scheme Trading amongst farmers is an extremely good scheme for the future of the dairy industry, and I think it will give some resilience to Fonterra and some resilience to this industry that much needs. There's been a lot of talk about the fact that, that trading amongst farmers sells the New Zealand industry to uh, overseas interests or to other people. I can assure members of the opposition the only people that will sell this industry are the New Zealand farmers. No one else has the ability to sell it. So if it's ever sold, it will be the New Zealand farmers that will, that will do that. Mr Browning, the member for who knows where, accuses us of selling out the industry, as I said. And, and I think that he's also made a lot of statements during the course of this bill about the environmental matters created by the dairy industry. And as I said earlier, this bill will give this industry the confidence and the income to significantly change the way that works. Mr Speaker, the ball is now clearly in the dairy farmers' hands and I'm convinced they will pick up the ball and run with it hard for the benefit of us all. I just very briefly want to acknowledge the great effort put into the development of this legislative process by so many passionate and enthusiastic dairy industry people. There were a large number of diverse opinions expressed during the course of, of this bill's passage through the House and indeed it was a mission for us on the Select Committee to get our heads around some of the early parts of this bill. Uh, there's been a number of uh, statements made about the time that the Select Committee had this bill for. Uh, frankly, I got my head around it, and I think everyone had plenty of time to get their head around the, the matters that were raised, both by the submitters and, and by uh, other members who presented to that Select Committee. So I think the process was a good one. I'm confident this bill has the best interests of New Zealand and its dairy farmers at, crux, at its crux. And I guess I'm a little perplexed, as I said, that we didn't get our heads around, or, or the entire House didn't get their heads around how this would be moved forward. However, Mr Speaker, I'm confident that we've made very, uh, the very best decision for, for both New Zealand and for the dairy industry, and I'm pleased to recommend that this bill progress through the House. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, just before I call the next member to advise the House that this is a split call, and members will be giving 